How did your ordeal with the 22 thing go? The replacement? Yeah. You know, I just did that. And I, hey, good question there. Uh, I just did that today, actually. Oh, okay. So I went in there today because the vacuum was being a son of a gun. It's like this unit oh, okay. must have been, you know, road hard and put up wet or something, literally wet. Yeah. Because it took a long time to evacuate it down to what was reasonable. Not not like the goal that you would normally reach, just what you would accept. Yeah, I will get a thousand. If I got a thousand, I'm good. And that's that's really the criteria that I was looking for. I got it to decay for five, ten minutes and not be near a thousand. It just decayed, I don't know, like a hundred. Maybe microns. you had a lot of uh maybe there's a lot of moisture in that line or something. I, I think there probably was. I think there probably was a lot of issues because it had been repaired before. I don't know what kind of procedure was taken then. So I, I spent time. It took like two separate days. I vacuumed did the same. Did you swipe nitrogen to it? Like just I did. It in there I, and like like they used to do? three times. Three times this thing was uh, broken and bled through with nitrogen, huh? and so it finally got to where I would accept what had happened as you know good enough, yeah. and I used 422B because that's what yeah, United the new had. Yeah, 422B. Yeah, and it's, you know it seemed like it was working pretty well. They work similar to 22. The pressure is a little bit lower. Yeah, it was a little bit lower. The discharge is a little bit higher. Yeah, that's what I noticed when it was coming through there. I was looking at the pressure. I was like, oh, running a little bit low pressure. Because I had R22 in the brain. And I was looking down there. I looked at the saturation. I was like, oh, we're we're much better. 50, 55, and the other one goes like a little bit higher. I forgot how much it was. But I don't. it was higher than 22. Yeah, it was uh, 22 breaks freezing around 58 uh, PSI. And I think this was closer to like 51 or 52. Yeah, I'll freeze up at 45 probably. Yeah, it's it, it seems to be working fine. You know, it's really premature for me to say that because it was just today. No, I like I it. say, if remember, if, if what happens is that everybody forgets if it runs if it runs over thirty two, it's not going to freeze. When it runs under thirty two saturated, that's where you're going to have problems. It's going to freeze up. Oh yeah, and under that criteria, it's doing well. But like I said, well, it's the first day. It's, it seemed to be fine. Uh, I was measuring our air temperature at the outlets and not at the machine, so it wasn't a true air split. It was probably a degree or two shorter than it would have been if I, I would have measured it at the machine, but it was close enough that I thought it was good. Was it a hot day? Uh, it was, you know, you know, you're in Puerto Rico. 70, 75? Oh, no, no it was here, in the 80s. It was 80s. I here. see a hot day because here normally it's 95 at midday, so... It wasn't that bad. It was it was probably eighty three to eighty five degrees. Ah, oh, you're good. You're good. So yeah. Oh yeah. It seemed like it was doing very well. Uh, a lot of humidity inside the house because it's the first time the system had been run there in months. So I mean, the humidity was uh, relative sixty five percent. No, no, so no rot in sock order. No, not on this one. Ah, uh, okay. You're good. Thank goodness. Yeah. It, it yeah. Seems, I think it's going to be just when you don't turn it on for a while, you get that rot in sock order. No, we didn't have any issues like that. I know what you're talking about, but luckily it didn't yeah. happen on this one, which is good. No that stinky, here stinky. Lot. 